Now, WGEL News 8's Weather on the 8s with meteorologist Ethan Houston. Feels like late summer just to start the day outside right now. We do have the chance for possible sprinkles. If you're watching us from Lewistown towards Port Royal, this is a batch of showers that really has started to fizzle on out here over the past hour or so. You can see just a little bit of some cloud cover right now on our Harrisburg Skycam. But look at these temperatures. Remember, average highs for this time of the year in the mid-60s. And that's where we're starting today. It's 66 in Harrisburg. Dew points are sitting in the mid 60s as well, making it feel sticky. It's 62 currently in York, also in Lebanon, still 75 at this hour in Gettysburg. We will challenge record highs once again later today. And I do expect a mixture of sunshine and clouds through the mid morning through the early afternoon hours. We'll see more sunshine than clouds later this afternoon into the evening. And then as we head through tonight, it'll be mostly clear, but then I do expect the clouds to thicken up after midnight. Could see some scattered showers after after midnight as well, getting closer to dawn and lows once again, very mild, only dropping into the upper 50s to lower 60s for tomorrow. Expect rain in the morning and then some scattered showers around during the afternoon and highs will be mild but cooler than today. We're back only into the upper 60s to lower 70s for tomorrow. So weather looks dry for the Halloween parades this evening. Temperatures will be in the low to mid 70s and that's Millersburg, Dairy Township, East Pennsboro Township and Mount Holly Springs having their parades today. Super Doppler rate again, just the threat of some sprinkles for our areas uh, north and northwest of the turnpike. You can see that line of showers extending down towards Cincinnati, Ohio. It's really fizzling on out. That is just ahead of that cold front that's going to be moving on through. This front is very, very weak. Back behind it is just some drier air. So you can see how the clouds part as we head through the evening hours here on the predictor. And those temperatures do make it back up in the upper 70s to lower 80s. But then there's the, here comes the rain chances. First, scattered showers and possibly some light rain will be around in the morning hours. Then that cold front returns as a warm front as we head through Thursday. That's what's going to allow the temperatures to warm back up once again into the upper 60s to lower 70s. Rain chances will be at their highest late Thursday into Friday as the storm center approaches the region and then a front moves across the area. We're talking widespread showers likely through much of the day on Friday. If the storm system moves a little faster, rain chances actually could move out a little quicker. So high school football games right now do look wet, but we'll continue to fine tune when is the best opportunity for the rain on Friday, but it does look like rain is going to be likely through much of the day. Once that front moves on through, look what happens to the temperatures. They really take a tumble back down into the mid 50s for the weekend ahead, and then we hold near 60 degrees for early parts of next week. That's where we should be for this time of the year. Back to more more seasonal weather. Wait, wait. So you're saying it's not going to be 80s for the rest of October? <laughs> no. Oh, all right. Okay. No. I was getting kind of used to it. Yeah, no. Thank all you, right. Ethan. Thank you. Thank you, Ethan.